the most capped player in U.S. Uh, women's soccer, U.S. soccer history? And world. and world history. Christine Lilly, uh, what brought you back to the game? Back to the game from? From, from you know, you, you, got, you, you had a child and you'd been playing all this time and you said, I want to come back. Well, I had, I had my child and I decided I didn't want to retire. And then um, we had the Women's Professional League starting up, so I said, you know what, I want to play. Um, so I just wanted to continue to play. Is there something you still have yet to prove? Um, I don't think it's about proving anything. I think it's just about playing. Um, I think I'm competitive still. Um, I still like to compete. I still like to win. So for me, it's just about playing and having the opportunity to continue to play. And I mean, it's a job too, so it's fun. I mean, who, I mean, who thought I would be doing this for this long? So it's been really fun. Exactly. Talk about how the game has has really changed since you know you you since you started playing and started playing you know at the at this level. Yeah, no, it has. It's grown. I mean, um, I started in '87 with the U.S. team, and it's just grown um, incredibly in many facets. I mean, from media coverage to being paid to the level of the, the game, um, the quickness, the speed, the tactical decisions. So it's grown, and it's been great to be a part of. And you know, for us, it's just keep growing the sport of soccer, and um, having America really start to really love it. And you know, talk about the growth aspect. You know, you said we do have a professional uh, women's soccer league. How important was that in your in your decision to, to keep going? Um, well, it just was all timing. It was coming. It was starting up right after I had my child, so that was played a role. Um, we had the first league um, in 2001 WSA that folded in 03. So from 03 to 09, there was a little break for women's professional soccer, but the national team was still competing. We we're still winning. Um, but so it's great to have it back and um, to have the best league on the women's side in the, in the world here um, is great. Um, young girls can see how it's done at the highest level um, and it keeps the national team competitive. Yeah. Is that important to be, you know, to have that inspiration to, you know, young young kids? I mean, you don't hear often, you know, NBA players, you know, or NFL players talking about, you know, the importance of giving back, you know, and, and creating a goal for, uh, for for young kids. Well, I think they, I, I think they do. There are a handful of players that do talk like that. I think they're, I mean, everything, I think if you look at any job you have, it, it is to be a, a model for someone and you know, to be a mentor so I mean in your job too it's young kids look at you and you know they want to do that as well so I think it's important for young people to see especially young girls because you don't see female athletes out there so much so we're continuing growing it's important for them to see that they could do that one day if that's what they want and you know speaking of mentoring uh, do you you know have anybody that you're sort of mentoring uh, along the process uh, on this national team um no i mean this is my first camp in with the group so um you know right now i'm just i'm just feeling it out and there's a lot of young kids and there's a lot of talent and they have um they could have a long career but it's it's, it's their decision how they how they uh, focus, how they address their game, how they if they want to be better. Um, so hopefully, you know, in one way, a little, little bit of bits and pieces of me comes out and maybe helps them along. Are you thinking about the World Cup already? Um, right now, I'm getting through this camp. This is my first camp back. I'm, I'm enjoying it, and um, I'm not sure what Pia's thoughts are, but right now, she's giving me the opportunity to see where, where I fit, if I fit, and see if it works. All right. Thanks you so much, and uh, best of luck. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it.